Do you have a couch like this? I mean, it's like comfortable. It's in your studio and you can plop down on it, but if you look closely at it, it's kind of gross. <laughs> but it's it's the perfect size and it's comfortable. You just want to make it like fun and like boho. And I have an idea. We're going to paint it. We are going to paint this couch. So first of all, find a couch. So here's the rule of thumb. Whatever color you have, you can go darker. Whatever color you're at on the color wheel, you can go anywhere else on that side of the color wheel. But if you want to change a purple couch to yellow, first of all, why would you do that? I am using a lovely once cream, you know, it might have even been white, who knows what it was, couch. This is chenille. It's not a woven fabric. It's kind of more like velvet or a short carpet. The first thing we got to do is choose the paint. Well, choose the paint and then choose the color. I'm using Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint. Chalk, C-H-O-C-K, paint in Venice. Although, I don't know that the water in Venice looks like this. But you know what? Again, let's suspend disbelief for now and just have some fun. Why do I think this paint works best? Because I don't need anything else on it. So basically what we're doing is we're taking water and we're taking paint and we're taking brushes and we're taking sprayers and we're taking rollers and we're taking brushes. Brushes. First of all, wait, do I have the upside down? We want to get it wet. A lot of you have asked me, what about mildew? Do not worry about mildew. You guys, we don't need to worry about mildew. It's going to dry faster than that. I get tons of questions about the mildew. Even if you put so much water on this thing that it's just dripping, take it outside, leave it in the sun, put a blow dryer on it. But honestly, I, I, it's just, I got bigger things to worry about. Then we take our paint and we mix it with water. How much? Depends on your piece. Start three to one. You might need more, you might need less. Start three to one. Basically what we're doing is we're water coloring our piece rather than painting it. This allows us to add layer after layer until we get what we want and it also helps us avoid the crunchy, okay? So this is what I like to use, the shorty brushes with the bendy handle because I wanna press really hard. This brush is cheap, all right? She's basically a, a you know, a cheap date. There we go, that's about the right amount. It's just a little bit drippy, okay? I'm just pushing it across. See that? See how easy? That's all you need to know. We're just gonna keep doing this for a very long time. So let's try this again with it watered down. So just find the mix that works for you. What I want you to do is do this and let it dry. And let's make sure you're happy with how it feels and how it looks. Pressing it in. Don't leave any streaks, okay? While it's wet, this is why we're using this brush. Really, really like, <clears throat> was a time I was his only one. But now I'm do 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 the sad and lonely one. Do do do. Here I go in my voice. One. Here's the thing, if you are just looking for a subtle hint of this beautiful aqua, you're done. <laughs> but as usual, I'm gonna keep going, all right? Okay, here we go. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I would pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights taking Now for that question, the one you want answered. What is it? Is it crunchy? So what I do in between layers is I sand it. What is this? It's basically a, a furniture scouring pad. And I take this and I go along the side. It's soft again. It's awesome. It's paint magic. It also helps blend your colors in a little bit. So I've got a little splotchy going on. I'm not worried about it because I can just put another coat of paint on. 
So sand it between the layers and then put another layer on. And then sand it and then put another layer on. Uh, that's it. What if we added metallics? I can use a mixture of metallics and I rolled them on very lightly so that they kind of picked up just the tufts of the design with the metallic in different spots. So I put on one color and then I put on another and then I put on another until I was done, until I decided that's exactly how I wanted it to look. So you're done, you're done. I know we can